Yes, chapter What's 11. What's going on, bro? We were just talking about hey, you, man. man. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's you everything? Right? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got a couple guys here. Yeah, Larry from Mass Chapter 4. Larry, nice yeah. to meet you. Ralph, president. The man. He's the boss. We got to show you something. Show me something. Look at this. That's so cool. It's nice to have people like the embalmers that are looking out for you. They had stickers for me, shirts for me. I mean, they're ready. They're always coming up with something. As the Embalmers Car Club, we travel the country. We go to car events, car shows. We bring our family, our friends, and we hang out and have a really good time. Meeting Ted has made a big difference because he's like us. It's all about the cars. It always has been around the cars. The embalmers brought two special cars to Carlisle. We brought um, Polish Prince's car. It's a 1929 Ford he built himself. And we also brought a 1959 Apache pickup truck that our club did build in New York. And that's what it is, being in a car club, is working together and getting things done. And it's just real special to have a car club and a car family. It's a lot of fun. Fellas, I got to go. Really good seeing you all. Nice meeting you all. I'm out of here. Dinner tonight? That'd be great. Take care, Ted. Take care. Right. See you Thank later. You. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, Ted Vernon. Ted, Steve Montag. Steve, nice my first car. Is that right? But I won't burden you with a first car story. Yeah, these are great cars. They are, they're fun. Today I brought a 1960 Nash Metropolitan. Nash Metropolitan started a kind of a revolution for the small car market. Back in the 50s, the cars were big and pretentious and Nash had an idea to create a small economical car. It's an inexpensive car you can drive anywhere, go to any car show and it'll just be a magnet. Good solid trunk in it. Yep, the trunk is solid. The whole car is. It's a Texas car. I got a Texas title with it. Body's rock solid on it. Motor's um, good. Motor's real good. Original yep. British motor and all. Yep, Austin motor. Yep. Gotcha. It's got four brand new tires on it. The brakes are new. Everything works. Like, even the uh, cigarette lighter in the car works. I'm real interested in the car. Well, it can be yours for sure. It's here to sell. Let's talk money. I know Ted's a real buyer. I wanted to be somewhere in the mid $6,000 range. It really, probably 6,000 is about the, the lowest I'll, I'll go. I would consider a trade, because I'm into collector cars. I have, I have a few, and I, I would consider something else. I do also have another vehicle here to, to sell. The reason I want this car is it's solid, straight, it's nice, it's not restored. It's just a good, sound, original car. The gentleman's got the car priced at $7,900. You know, for me to make money, I gotta be in this car for three, four grand. Five would murder it. Steve, I wanna buy your car. So let's not make this a project. All right. You know, how much can I pay you for your four thousand dollar car? I got seventy nine ninety five on it. I, I was kind of bent on seventy five, but I'll take seven grand for the car. That does not work for me. I have to ship this back to Florida. It's expensive to ship it. I mean, I, forty five hundred. I'm done. Ford? No, no, it's no way. You said one thing to me, Ted. You said this was your first car. Now, I don't know how old you are, but the average lifespan for a male is what seventy two years, and. What do you got left? About that much of it? You're killing Spend me. Spend the money. Spend the money, enjoy the card. Are Relive you a funeral director or something like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Recapture wow. your youth with this car. Look at it. I want to buy the car. OK. And we're yeah. a little bit apart. We are. We're, we're getting close, but it's... Uh, have you got anything else to lump with it? you bring anything else with you? Maybe there's some other deal I can do? You know what I do? Are you into motorcycles at all? Harleys and Indians are about all I buy. You want to check it out? It's a nice bike. Come take a look at this thing. I mean, it's a it's a nice two-owner bike. It's a numbered bike. I think it's 2540 out of 3500. It's anniversary edition. Got the laced wheels, the wide whites. It runs as good as it looks. I'll do 12 grand for the pair. You're not giving me room to make a living. I have to ship this. It costs the same as a car. I got to ship that. Let me tell you what I'll do. I'll give you 10 grand. I am done. I'm done. $10,000 cash, I'll shake your hand. I'm not even cranking the damn thing. 10 grand, we're done. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, you're not really uh, I, emotionally I, attached to that no, car like no, I thought no. you were. I'm right? emotionally attached to my 10 grand, but I'm going <laughs> to give it to you if you want it done. You know what, Ted? Let's do it. I, I mean, thank you, God. I got something done. And thanks for not raining this minute. All right, I hope you enjoy that car. It's a nice car. This is a great bike. There Thank you go. Thank you very much. Thank great you. Great deal, man. Thanks Done. a lot. You know, with the package deal, I'm very happy because I basically moved two vehicles to one person. The hauling and the, the advertising and the dealing is over. I got 5000 for the car and 5000 for the bike. I like to think of it more like I got 6500 for the car and 3500 for the bike. It's been raining the whole weekend. And I walked in the pavilion just by luck, and I wound up doing the deal. I hadn't been able to do much until then. I walked in, and boom, done. So that's, it's good. Worked out.